Firstly, it's time to embrace the art of peekaboo. This time-honored game is a staple in the baby world, and for good reason. It teaches your child about object permanence, which is the understanding that objects continue to exist even when they can't be seen. Hide behind your hands, a blanket, or even pop out from behind a door. The surprise and joy in your baby's eyes will be worth it. Next, consider the world of musical exploration. Sing nursery rhymes, sway with your baby, or even hum a tune. The rhythm and melody can stimulate your baby's auditory development. And don't worry if you're not a virtuoso. Your baby loves your voice no matter the tune. The third step involves sensory play. This can range from feeling different textures like soft toys and hard plastic blocks to exploring water play under close supervision. The world is a sensory smorgasbord for your one-year-old, and it's your job to introduce them to as many new textures, tastes, and sounds as you can. Now on to step four, stacking and knocking down. Whether it's plush toys, soft blocks, or plastic cups, stacking and knocking them down will not only entertain your baby, but also develop their hand-eye coordination. The fifth and final step is reading together. Even if they don't understand the words just yet, the sound of your voice, the colorful pictures, and turning the pages together will stimulate their imagination and foster a love for books. To wrap up, remember that playing with your one-year-old is about more than just entertainment. It's about bonding, teaching, and helping them explore their world. Start with peekaboo, then move on to musical exploration, sensory play, stacking games, and reading together. Each activity offers its unique benefits and joys. Remember, the goal isn't to fill every moment with structured play. Sometimes, the best playtime happens when you follow your baby's lead. So stay patient, stay engaged, and most importantly, have fun, because that's what playtime is all about.